GCSE Physics. Welcome, are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you are going to learn about types of waves. Describing waves. Longitudinal waves are waves where particles move back and forth in the same direction that the wave is traveling. Examples of longitudinal waves are sound waves, ultrasound waves, seismic P waves. These are the particles move at right angles to the direction that the wave is traveling are called transverse waves. Examples include light waves ripples on a wave Mexican wave at a sports stadium microwaves radio waves. The crest of the wave is the highest part of the wave and the lowest part of the wave is called the trough. The height of the wave is called the amplitude and the wavelength of a wave is the distance between one point on a wave and the identical point on the next wave. The amplitude is the maximum distance on a wave from the rest position, the middle. The greater the amplitude the louder the volume. The wavelength is the distance from a point on one wave to the same point on the next wave. Electromagnetic waves are transverse waves these waves do not need particles travel and so they can pass through the vacuum of space. Sound waves are longitudinal waves and these waves need particles to travel. For example sound waves travel by passing energy from one air particle to the NEXR. Earthquakes and explosions are sometimes called as seismic waves and these can be both longitudinal and transverse waves. Seismic waves need particles to travel.